heart. My husband would be trying to get iHeartRadio to get rid So he's like, he keyword concert. <laughs> Okay, let's do it with this. All right, so we'll call the meeting to order um, on this Monday, April 17th, 2023 at 9.07. Um, so the purpose of today's meeting is really to make sure that we block issues. And we are streaming as we, as we talk about. Thank y'all for agreeing to, to do that for transparency and letting uh, our public be able to follow, follow these negotiations. Um, so we'll kind of go through the list of the things that we have listed, and then y'all can talk through the list that y'all have. Um, so for the for the first one for us was about hiring, and these are all things that, that y'all that we've discussed before. Nothing's nothing's new. Um, there's one item that is new that's an administrative kind of thing, and so I'll let Linda discuss that a little bit more. But um, the first item was hiring, and we're just exploring uh, strategies to enhance our ability to recruit and obtain qualified candidates. Um, we're wanting to look at adding the additional points for social sciences, bachelor's, master's degrees. And this is really just in regard to trying to make sure that we get people that may have different interests, especially in the world that we have these days where sometimes you have mental health issues and things like that. We wanna make sure that we have um, a workforce that reflects some of that change in population and just trying to make sure that we're able to um, to address those needs as, as best as possible. Um, new hire probationary period to be a member of the classified service. So we talked about that. The wages, we're gonna be looking at base pay um, as well as bilingual and evaluate the amount for the administrative assignment. So we're gonna look at that. Um, promotion, we, we are looking at adding to the assessment center. I know we've talked about, is it only gonna be for specific ranks? Do we wanna kind of test that out first and with those specific ranks? and kind of see where we go from there. So that's to be discussed. Um, discuss ideas to enhance the promotional process and update Article 9 regarding training requirements. For minor suspensions, expand the use of minor suspension uh, time, and then the authority of an arbitrator. This is in relation to similar discussions we're having with police in regard to saying that um, there would be certain instances in which the arbitrator could not substitute his or her judgment for the chief um, when it comes to just three specific areas, insubordination, criminal misconduct, and um, untruthfulness. So those are the, the three instances. It still has all of the language in regard to the, the chief cannot behave arbitrarily or capriciously, all that kind of thing. We are negotiating with police kind of more clarity to the insubordination piece just to make sure that it's, you know, stuff that is very clear or grave insubordination is not having to tie your shoe or not doing it, you know. So it's stuff like that that just helps to provide some clarity. So more for us to discuss on that. Um, investigations and disciplinary suspension, um, just the non-criminal provides the chief must file within 180 days. This is about the 180 days and adding the extra 180 days um, so that the, the chief has more time to investigate and hand down discipline. Um, so we'll be adding that additional 180 days to the current uh, process. Uh, positive deadlines, so timelines are paused at the chief's discretion because of the state uh, or federally mandated leaves, example, FMLA, military leave, those kinds of things, so that that would pause for that. Um, all the sustained discipline has been achieved to the public file and embed the city's financial policy to establish those financial triggers. Again, that was stuff that we're just mirroring. And it's basically just saying, we're gonna have a conversation with you yes. um, if, if we have a downturn in the economy or revenues don't come in. And so we're gonna just talk and see, okay, where do we go from here? Um, the fire marshal, we've talked about revising the provisions to allow a third assistant chief uh, for fire marshal, evaluate the ad pay amount for administrative assignment, um, and then also the uh, administrative efficiency. This is the one that uh, Linda and I have you kind of explain a little bit more. And then the last was the streaming of meetings, which we've already agreed to here at the shape there. So if you want to talk about that last one that we have? Sure, thank you. Um, last agreement, we added in a provision that allows us to um do external postings through the website instead of bulletin boards and really brought us up to today's world and we've had some discussions on our side on currently we're required to do certified letters to every candidate who is not hired even if we don't pass the physical agility 
And we'd like to do that, you know, like we do all candidates for it there. You know, we could discuss do we want that notification to happen by letter to that person, or are we okay using the online recruiting system in the same fashion that we do for all other candidates? Um, and there may be a line somewhere between somebody who makes it through the background process and how we notify them as the character, somebody who either doesn't pass the written test or doesn't pass the PPT. So those are the things that people can get us up. I mean, if y'all want to do sure. this issue, yes, um, we can you know, get in front of you to, to work on that or we can give some recommendations for your consideration as well. Sure. And then Linda, I know you mentioned, um, I, I guess let's let y'all go through your issues if there's anything you wanted to add to I, any of these. I don't think you have anything that we need to add. I mean, we can still look at the like, but we don't have any, anything new that will bring to you. That nothing, issue. nothing new to add. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so then we'll consider our issues then locked, right? Um, I'll give you a written list if you wouldn't mind doing the same so that we sure. can have that. Sure. No, that we're sure progress on this track. Sure. And then we try to let it and her team uh, track and, you know, where we are on each thing, just so we kind of know as we're going through get through that, you know, and we keep that running list. And once we get that set up, we can sure that with us as well. Mm -hmm. okay. So would you, um, I know that there was a management meeting that um that was held with you and Chase and Wes. And so you just kind of talk a little bit about that. I guess maybe if we can back up and talk some about what what we've done as a group. We've had our two subcommittees met. Um we have worked on identifying issues, we have discussions about five by five percent. Um we've talked about um Equal yes, and different ways we could do that. So that kind of crosses over to the management um, team meeting about you know different ways to do that. Could that be incorporated? It feels like more likely through a arson investigator pay or something like that. So we'll be having additional discussions at the subcommittee level on that. Um, I think we've made a lot of ground. But one thing I did want to talk about, Linda, on the wages, mm -hmm. just for y'all to be aware of, is you know it's been very, very important that we keep uh, parity when it comes to the wages and us trying to make sure that we're being fair. You know, y'all did the extension, and we very much appreciate that you did the extension, and so we were very clear that hey, we weren't going to go over the two percent with with the police association, um, so that we could we could keep that. Now, because of this repeal of the police agreement um that has added a little bit of a nuance for us because okay. of the timing in which that would be effective right so when we're negotiating with them the repeal of their agreement is effective june 7th so that means that whatever we do as an effective date for them is going to have to be june so okay. like if they were going to do five percent or something like that for example that would take effect then Correct. not october Okay. And so just want to be very clear with y'all on that, that 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 might be a little bit of a nuance. Now, we want to look at that's four months. That's four months. So they have a longer months. first year. Right. They have right. a longer first year. So that's four months. Um, and so I am willing to look at what that means. And so we can talk about that and see what that number is or whatever. And that way we can look at how that then affects y'all. But sure. it's still my intention to be very fair and make sure that we're being, you know, treating y'all equally mm -hmm. when it comes to that. And so um, when it comes to the pay issue, especially. Yes, and so that's something that I just want to make sure y'all are mindful of if you hear about the conversations we're having, that that may be something, depending on where we land with them, that we would still be able to have more discussion here about what that translates in for y'all. Sure. So I want to be upfront with that, yes, just so nope. that y'all are, are aware of that. Yeah, I appreciate it. So I think the two key areas in the management side that we had worked on as well on the subcommittee um, have to do with hiring. And it seemed like in trying to make the changes to allow um, just an entry level candidate to come in, it really convolutes the language. So Carl wanted to go back and work on um, taking a stab at maybe revised language for that section, but okay. we just didn't have time to do it before today. No so problem. he's working on it. Um, 
And then we're continuing to work on the fire marshal and assistant chief language for that area as well. So those are the two key areas that we expect to have something for y'all out of before the next meeting. Okay. And then I did prepare language. I think I get a check mark on something. <laughs> um, so the new power probationary period and duration of the window, which fills in the financial parameters. I have TA mark on there. It's not that we need to do that today, but I wanted to get it to everybody for review. And we can either end up it today or I'll bring it back to the next meeting. I probably picked the shortest article and the longest article. <laughs> okay. You can take a brief pocket. So yeah, I want to get along about that. If, 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 if there's anything else that we would want to discuss jointly before caucus. I don't think so. No, I mean, like you said, we um, just curious to see where you know. I know I, I spoke with uh, Keith Tano briefly about like the meeting that you guys had with our marshal districts, just for the example. Um, do you know tentatively kind of where you guys landed on that? Um, I, I mean, honestly, we ran out of time, but um, there were people uh, a lot of commitments in the room, so yeah. we were um, I talked about the. Hiring and spent a lot of time in that before we okay. really got down to the fire marshal. Okay. So I, I don't think it would be fair for me to give you anything that because I, I don't fair think enough. you got sure. anything. Okay. No problem. Thank you. That's yeah, I think that's all that we you know, if this is these are the two articles that you got basically just put them in for now for today, we'll probably do something we're not sure. But if you could call it, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Y'all can stay here and what they'll do is they'll turn this off okay. and it'll just have a string that'll say that we're in caucus. Okay. We'll go to our conference room and then if you just send a text and let us know when we're all ready. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we did speak about this and I think we're okay with the way that it's written. I did find two typos in it. Okay. Okay. But just other than that, I think we're okay with it. Okay. You want to just circle them, David? I did. Yes, me and we'll, um, mm -hmm. I'll look at it with you when we get done and sure. I'll bring it back. Sure. And then as far as the other one goes, the, the, the same applies. I mean, this I know this is something that Keith Keith had called me on um about like the probation and stuff, and Lynn and I had also talked about it. So we're also okay with that one. The only thing I would say is, and it's up to you guys, it doesn't matter to me either way. Does it need to be its own article or can we put it under the hiring section of the current contract under Article 3? That's again, it's whatever's yeah. easier, but I think we can probably just put it under an existing article, which is under the hiring section of Article 3. Okay. It doesn't have to be its own article. It would just be like a subsection of that one, but that would be the only recommendation I have, other than that, the way it's written is we're doing it. Maybe if we call it new hire probationary period and have it be a subsection of article three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so anything else on that? And then duration of the agreement, you'll get us the, the typos. And again, this is just saying at what point we trigger those. Yeah, no, it, it, so it, it, Linda um, and I discussed that. Yeah, and we heard it with it. I mean, because it's all basically follows the city's financial policy. So yes, that's fair. So that that was it. And then um, anything else we need to cover for today? I mean, unless you guys wanted to discuss anything as far as you know, like like Lennon said, the 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 base, the salaries and stuff up in the base page or anything. I mean, y'all. I think the five later. five five is what we had talked about. You know, we're trying to keep, however, fifteen percent overall. Yes, ma'am. That's what you know. Said if, and so, if y'all what if y'all would like to do that differently, but fifteen percent overall is what we're looking at. Yes, ma'am. Um, to keep parity with things, and so um, that's what we were looking at with that. And then the bilingual pay. I know we wanted to keep that again to encourage people, you know, to be able to effectively communicate yes. with our with our community so that's something that we're willing to to look at as well as far as the, the amounts i mean i think we would just match what what we yeah. have you know at the 80 dollars yeah and whatever that is i mean we, we're totally fine with parity on the filing of paper with that added it's a true that would be our interest too sure, sure. sure. and is that per per pay period or per month just out of curiosity Um, yeah, I'd like to make sure I'm only right. I thought it was a monthly, yeah, maybe 40. Because I know that when you say that to our guys, I know they're going to ask that question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as far as like seven, just, just discussing the, the monthly. monthly, okay. okay. Just discussing in the, in the 555 you know what i did i took that back to our guys and we discussed it and you know although we do think it's think it's a pretty fair number our numbers with according to what we came up with the salary surveys you know just right now starting at, at just the minimum range we are already at just with today's numbers we're 8.14 percent behind on today's numbers so the five percent wouldn't even catch us up to today's numbers not even counting you know what's coming up in the future so we were thinking more along the lines of even like doing a, a nine five four, um, just to, you know that gives us eighteen percent over the three years. Um, I know that in consideration, like you guys are trying to keep us with the parity of the of PD, and, and we do understand that. Took that in consideration as well. Um, in the past, you know, like I said, you, you guys worked. We worked with you guys and we worked together to do the one year extension and the two percent out of good faith. And 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 talking with that, you know, we knew we were going to have to come back to the table to make some to make up some ground. Mm -hmm. So with us, you know, definitely to make it, you know, the goal of a lot of this is the hiring incentive, right? To attract people to come here and, and make it more incentivized for people who want to come here. And of course, with like any job, most, the first thing people look at is how much money can I make, right? And I think that's any job across any, any spectrum. Um, well, let's, I mean, let's, let's keep that as something depending on how we do everything else. Yes, ma'am. Only because, as I mentioned to you, that depending on how we end up with PD, yes, there may be an extra four months at play that we're looking at in terms of how that money gets okay. gets divvied out. And so, because that would have been an increase on top of an increase yes, for those four months. Yes, and so, that may give us some wiggle room to look okay. at, but I, I don't want to commit to that, so I don't know for sure where we end up with that. Okay. But let's we can keep that conversation open, and if that's what we prefer to do, it is in base pay to try to help with the with that. Then that's something that we can look at and just see where that where that goes. They prefer to do theirs in certs and stuff like that. Yes, ma'am. And so um, versus base pay, so it may be something that we're looking at. If y'all would prefer y'all's in base versus you know some of these other areas to try to help everybody and sure. you know with recruitment. Then that's something that we can look at in terms of the total financial impact with that. Yes, ma'am. So, um, so let's keep that conversation open. Let's see where we end up with with that because we'll know here pretty quickly given the, the term of their agreement should end pretty quickly. Um, whether we need agreement or don't need agreement, um, and we'll know. So, um, let us let us have more conversation about that Absolutely. based on where y'all want. Because I mean that that's kind of the thing is we've tried to be equal and say, okay, you know, this is what, what, what they agreed to, this is what y'all agreed to, that there's a pro rata amount, so that there's something equal, and people want their, their money in different places, and so it's a matter of where y'all want their money, and so if they haven't always agreed 100% in terms of the, um, 
the agreements, you know, saying that y'all's y'all's increases were always base pay exactly the same because again there were those 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 nuances with shifted or whatever it is that they would get. And so I think that we have some room to talk about about that based on what we sure. And like I said, you know, we discussed it too. It's, it's, I know, and, and I do appreciate it. I'm sure PD does. You guys have always been very, very all city employees, and that's something that, you know, it's a noble thing. Um, but as far as us trying to stay exactly, I don't know where the cops, I say, uh, where PD came in with their salary surveys and where they stand in their market. We're just trying to go off of what you know what our market numbers are in the fire service and where we would like them to be, not, again, you know, not leading the market, but sometimes it may not work to where we have where we stay parity with the one one or the other. It could be the vice versa, right? It could be where P's hurting and they need to jump ahead of us a little bit to to help incentivize their stuff. So I don't know. I think it's still two totally different jobs and two totally different markets, although I know it is we, we try to keep them on a similar plane. So that's that's kind of where we're coming from with it. It's not because we think we deserve more or better. It's it's really more along the this is where our market is in the fire service more than sure. our us trying to get ahead of, of, of PE in, in our own city. Well, let's look and see. Um, like I said, we're gonna we'll keep that as as your proposal open, and it's something that we'll look at okay. as we go forward and just kind of see where everybody's where we're landing out with them, and then um, we can see. I think I would need Linda to kind of do a cost proposal to see what that looks like and see how that compares um, to what we're what we're doing because it's our interest too. You know, we want to make sure we can recruit and be competitive and stuff like that too. So. Um, and I appreciate that y'all want to put it in the base pay only because that also does help everybody from a recruitment standpoint. Yes, it helps the city um, yeah. as well. So that's something that, that we'll definitely be open to discussing more. Okay. So we can do, I think I think that's probably a good next step is just have a pay committee kind of, you know, have Linda be able to put together the that cost proposal of what that looks like with what you're talking about. And that way it gives us somewhere to go. Sure. Um, see what it looks like on the data in terms of the comparators and where it would land us with that, but then also look at the dollar amount that's involved in that. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then we'll see what we can do. Sure. Does that sound like a, a good next step for y'all? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Okay. Sure. It's kind of, you know, it's always the thing that the pay always seems to be the one that takes the longest because I get it. I mean, we have to compare numbers and make sure that yeah. it's fair for every all parties involved. So, right. So, sure, we completely understand. I will ask Chris one question. I know we had a subcommittee and I think we were still waiting to hear back from Sagin. Did we hear back on, on that one? I did. And, but, uh, the information that uh, you guys had was correct. So okay, yeah. So the numbers that we have are okay. Yes, awesome. So we'll go through that, and then the management committee can meet again on the bat chief. Okay. Uh, the fire right it was the bat chief and the fire marshal. Yeah. Yeah. Fire marshal. Yeah. Yeah. The fire yeah. yeah. chief. Uh, so that's so we'll, we can have that then too. Okay. Um, assuming everybody's calendars, you know, work together. With getting something scheduled so that we can bring that back at the next time as well. Yes, ma'am. Stephanie, do you want to look at that optional meeting that's on June 19th kind of in light of the new holiday that you sent out, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's sort of a meeting, but. When we're going to draw. We were in. Uh, I had it at June 19th, but yeah. But we're going to have to move it anyway because. Uh, yeah. The 19th. June 12th. That's what's on there. Let's put it there. That's an optional day. Do you have 19? We have a fun mixture. We have a, it's time. Time. It's long, yeah. We have the printout, is what we have. It says 12. Well, I wonder if this has been updated. I'm not going to update it. Maybe June 12th. Yeah. I, because June 12th, I won't be here. That's probably about that. We took the 19th. I might be able to get this updated. I mean, I think this is all kind of just still. I mean, I know you guys put it on your calendar. For us, it's, it's more tentative than anything. If we need it, we can. We can make those adjustments kind of as we go. Uh, that's what all from our side, speaking from our side, it's not, we're pretty flexible when it comes to that, I believe. And hopefully we're done by then. Right. I mean, we have, I mean, the way we're going, the way we're going, we might be. Yes, because, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of, 
tentative agreement, and, and by then we'll know one way or the other where we are with, with police, and then that way we can wrap up some of those things that we're waiting on with arbitration sure. and um, pay. And so that, that'll come through because our last meeting with them is scheduled for April 23rd right now. So uh, we've got we've got a meeting Wednesday and then we've got a meeting on the 21st. We've got two more meetings with them. So then that would get us positioned hopefully pretty well for the May 1st, 15th, and 30th of y'all because we will have some of that. Hopefully that. Yeah. that's our goal anyway. We'll see how it all goes, but that's that's our goal. Um so hopefully we could be done by then. But if not, um we'll just kind of keep that open and know that we may need to do a June meeting. For Linda says she's going to be out that week of June 19th, so it may have to be the following week that sure. we look at. Sure. The week before the end of the month. Oh, we tried. Oh, okay. So then we might be able to do something on the week of the 19th. Not the 19th, but maybe the 22nd or something. Let's go through the 17th. Okay. Okay, so could we tentatively do it for nine o'clock on Thursday, June twenty second? Does that work for y'all? Uh -huh. Nine a.m. Thursday, June twenty second. That works for the twenty second of June. Works for me. Does that work for y'all? Tentatively, yeah. And that's again only if needed. But I, I hate to not put something on the calendar and then things get you get calendar probably fill up a lot faster. <laughs> You'd be surprised how crazy they are, yes. <laughs> so we can, so, okay, so let's tend to be Thursday, June 20, and we'll, we'll get something out to y'all, but Thursday, June 22nd, 9 a.m. And hopefully we don't need it, but at least it's there. So what I will say about that is to me, the timeline of getting an agreement to this association by June 30th, if it's ready for y'all to vote, we will need to work closely together to make sure that we've got, we're keeping our draft agreement up to date, yes. notwithstanding just any outstanding issues so that we can turn that around. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I think these two, both of these, uh, we're ready. I mean, we can sign if we just get the type of fixed and then whether or not we want to put this in our three, we're good with both of these to get them check off the list. Can you help me that now? I have on this meeting, yeah, change, just change a couple. If you don't want to hang around for a few minutes, you can, that done. You can sign it and then I can sign but it. But the one will go into the hiring, which we're not ready to do that whole thing unless we just want to do that. Yeah, the, you mean the duration? No, the probationary. No. Right, okay. So are you, are you guys going to be putting that in the hiring So section? we can sign, we'll just make it on where we're going to that section, but we can be going to get the agreement on it, if sure. that's okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. Okay. So we're actually making these in the master copy of the as we go. So it's pretty well okay. wrapped up with the exception of any final reviews. So the one you want to And then I'll send you all the written issue for the week. And then down where you're going to need that, you're going to work on top of those other books. And I'm going to give you a copy of the number and get some type of, okay. of our issues. That sounds perfect. All right. Other than that, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, and adjourn at 10, 10 a.m.